Hi Cancer, how are you? If you're new, hi, welcome, my name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading, How to Fix My Wig. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that roles can be reversed between you and or your person if that applies. And once again, these are all general. So please keep that in mind. If it doesn't resonate, just let it go and that's it. Without further ado, let me just dive in with your reading. Oh, oh, let me let me fix this. Hold on. And without further ado, like I said before, let's dive in and let's see what's going on. Please and thank you, Spirit. What can you tell me for Cancer? Okay. So we have the Four of Wands in the reverse, Leo Sagittarius, Aries. We got the Three of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, and or Scorpio okay we'll see oh okay what else for for cancer we have the nine of wands leo sagittarius aries once again we got the five pentacles in the reverse earth taurus virgo capricorn we have the high priestess in the reverse we got my God, pisces energy We have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Pisces against Scorpio. Overall energy. We got the Strength card. Can we clarify the Strength card? And we got the Death card. Scorpio energy at the bottom here with Page of Pentacles. And the Queen of Swords in the reverse, which is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius right here. So it seems to be that there was an ending that is actually taking a toll in your body and or energies there is an ending with somebody that you could have been involved in a third party situation of course it doesn't need to be physically it could have been energetically but it has been very difficult and it seems to be that some of you are accepting that this could actually be coming to an end and even though that you are aware in a way shape or form and you are in a way shape or form also accepting the faith of this situation it is actually very hard hold on my son he just wanted a cupcake but anyways even though that you know you are like okay with it you're like at peace it, it is taking a toll on you because you know it's been it's been a while you guys had history um with the nine of wands right here you are protecting yourself as well at the same time that you are going through in a way of grieving because you are maybe accepting something is telling you that it could be over or this it could be something telling you or this is you right just feeling that things are over because things are not moving any faster or they're not moving at all right so this is just the human mind you know deciding that maybe this is this just because that's the way for us to cope you know and it's normal but once again you are at the same time not letting yourself getting hurt meaning that you go like you know what if it didn't work it didn't work but you are not wanting to go to this breakup stage with your energies you know you are very protective over you you have been um in a way in an energy that you are not longer wanting to feel like a victim and or feel too bad about it because like i said before you're like you know what i'm at peace i see you and feeling you that you are very at peace with the situation with high priestess and reverse um in a way in the same way that you're doing this it seems to be that you have let your spirituality a little bit out the door meaning that the universe or your spiritual guides are telling me to please take a step into your spirituality again because they feel like you are wasting your gift this is a side note right well the eight of cups for you in the reverse it seems to be that once again you are just throwing the towel at this point and say you know what maybe it's not meant to be da 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 and you are very being very strong about it you are loving yourself uh working on your self-love and say you know what what if, if it's over it's okay i'll be okay and this is you telling yourself this over and over and over whenever you feel down down over this situation but well, we're gonna see what's happening what can you tell me for cancer what's uh cancer could be expecting in their love life what can cancer expect in their love life the six of wands why is it Okay, I'm going to tell you something. We got also Leo Sagittarius Aries, by the way. But I'm going to tell you something important. The world, Aquarius, Virgo, Leo, or her Sagittarius, Queen of Swords in the reverse, Leo, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, the Hermit, Virgo energy, the Sun, Leo in the reverse, by the way, and the King of Cups in the reverse, overall energy. Seven of Wands in the reverse, page of Wands. 
Uh, okay, so of course, you know how life is once you decide that I'm good, I'm moving on. It seems to be that this person is coming back. And of course, when I say coming back, I'm going to keep you on perspective for those who don't know what this means exactly. This could be texting you something very minimal. Uh, this could be you seeing them and they spotting you and you guys have a very small conversation. And why is it so important for me to say that? Because you guys are trying to get over somebody, right? Doesn't mean that you are over. And if you are over this person, congratulations. It's still they're going to show up and still is going to pop some sort of emotions in you. And the only person that you, that, that I can't believe is not going to feel anything is none of y'all, because I know that you guys are going to feel a certain way. Of course, it doesn't mean that you guys are going to go wild and crazy, but once again, it's going to give you something, something in your energies. Okay. But once again, yeah, they're coming back at a moment that is not the best to come back into your life because something is happening you could be uh finding yourself again finding your ways you can start a new relationship you can actually maybe work on a relationship that you were having issues right so the comeback is not up it's not at the best time with the queen of swords in the reverse um at the same time that they're coming back, it seems to be that you really don't know what to expect. So you are not putting your finger on it like, oh, okay, this is happening. Because once again, you really have had your encounters with this person. And every time it works like this, it doesn't end well. So you have your doubts over this person, you know, over the uh, future of this person in your life, right? But yes, this person was hiding whatever it is ghosting because they were not very happy they were dealing with some depression and some personal problems that they had to deal with and work on their own and that's why they were not as active either or social media or in your life with the king of cups in the reverse that's why they has haven't had text you called you or anything and i know some of you will tell me it's just so easy if life was if life was easy everybody will succeed everybody will be happy but life has shown all of us that nothing is really easy and that we have to go through what we have to go through without questions right but going back to this yes they're coming back and it seems to be that you are either or doubting their intentions or quite confused with what i'm seeing here even though that you have all these energies and all these emotions, it's going to be mixed emotions, you are not stopping the communication communication, and you are not stopping them from talking to you. Uh, I see what the picture wants. Again, fire, energy, Libra. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said Libra, but I meant Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Even though that you are just accepting the communication and I see you being very shook and surprised and a little bit like not knowing exactly what's happening and not knowing exactly what to expect but once again I don't see you I don't see you stopping this and you are telling yourself like oh okay hold on I thought this was over like why is this person coming in so you don't know if there's a foundation or not but at the same time like I said before you're letting this person come in with full Aries energy you're not really stopping this person because although life can be complicated this person every time they come back right it brings some sort of joy happiness and fun into your energy and your life so it's hard to walk away from this this could be like uh you know like a addictive like adrenaline that this person brings into you <laughs> look at this <laughs> so you have the strength card leo the death card scorpio and then you have the knight the knight of pentacles again earth so what is telling me right here that the, i will read it this way because it's how i got the cards i'm just displaying it for you guys but this person is going to offer you something they're going to show up they're going to be perhaps in person and just telling you something something that could give you some hope some butterflies whatever but it's telling you right here that you have to keep maybe your distance or keep yourself together not be so open and be strong this time because like i said before it's still not telling me how secure this situation is like they just can they can just be coming in into your life just because they want to talk to somebody i'm not sensing here just yet i want to double check for you guys if they want a relationship or what they really want but you have to keep it together keep it cool okay you cannot go wild about it What is this person's real motives for coming from coming back for coming back into Cancer's life? Why are they coming back? The Empress Libra energy. 
somebody here could be a curvy not all of you of course uh, but somebody could be curvy like a female and they have black hair and this person really finds you attractive they also love the color color orange in you and necklaces on you uh, we have the Nine of Cups, Pisces, Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the Hermit, very good energy in reverse. The Nine of Swords in the reverse, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Thank you, Spirit. We have the, oof, the Ten of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We got the Five of Cups in the reverse, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Overall energy, please. The Five of Pentacles in the reverse. The Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Thank you, Spirit. So, they are coming back because they s seem to have some sort of feelings for you, okay? They do like you, they find you attractive, and they do have the sexual attraction towards you. But they were not ready to either or admit that to themselves or to face that. Right now, they know that with their silence, they, they hurt you more by pulling themselves away from you, by not talking to you, by going silent. Once again, they know that they messed up and they hurt you in ways that they can't even describe or even apologize for because, again, what's done is done. But regardless of that, they're coming back with an apology because they know that they messed up. With the Ten of Swords right here, it seems to be that by hurting you, they hurt themselves okay there is guilt there's heartbreak and there's also some sort of karma because they were not honest with you and they were not clear about the situation so you know you get what you give pretty much so they're going through their karma um if they were dating somebody else they're going to actually end up breaking up with this person but going back to what i said before they're coming back with an apology because they know that the way they decided to go and or you know take the actions towards the situation was not correct and it was very bad and poorly executed so keep in mind that they're coming back with an apology um they feel very bad for how they treated you and how they handle things. And even though that, like I said before, I don't see like a love proposition just yet. I do see sincere apology because they know they messed up. And of course, if you want to take the apology, go for it. If you don't, it's totally up to you. Nobody's going to tell you otherwise. But if you really want this person, you have to make a choice. Forgive them or not. That's totally up to you. Why are they coming back now? Like after all this time, why now? Um, Because they were not ready. We got the Knight of Wands in the reverse and the Five of Wands. They were not ready, to be honest, to talk to you. There was going, there was a lot of heat going on. Uh, it seems to be that they were involved in a different situation. Like they were attracted to somebody else. They were in a small connection something there was something in the way that they were unavailable and emotionally emotionally unavailable um and that's why they couldn't come in and once the situation got cleared out either or the relationship was over the heat was over they decided that it was time to come back again and with a new beginning at least it's just like a new page for you guys to know where you guys can go from there They're no longer tied down to anybody or any situation. So again, they were unavailable to do it before. So, what is the outcome in between Cancer and this person? Thank you, Spirit. We got the Chariot in reverse, Cancer energy. Thank you, Spirit. We have the Fool in reverse, Aries. Thank you, Spirit. We got the Eight of Swords in the reverse. And I'm sorry, the Eight of Swords only. The Devil, Capricorn Energy, the Six of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, the World, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, and overall energy. The Wheel of Fortune here at the bottom, the Eight of Wands. So there is clearly communication coming forward, okay? There's going to be multiple text messages or more than once. Uh, opportunity of talking and seeing this person uh summer is very important i see number six number 15 number 21 and number 10 and or in eight being important for you guys um this comeback is gonna come to your life uh and 
in a moment that you're not ready to accept it or let's say that you have picture come back in a way but they're not coming back in that matter it's gonna be different you're not gonna be ready for it that's all i know but going back to this even though that they're gonna come forward they're gonna want to hang out you're gonna take it way slower because you have had so much work into yourself that you cannot do this you said to yourself i cannot do this to myself again so i had to take it slower than what i will usually do because you are with eight of swords protecting your heart and even though that you are still hurt and you're gonna be a little bit like i said mixed emotions here you're gonna be like no i've been hurt before by you i need to be cautious now because i have a lot to lose that's what i heard um with the devil right here and the six of wands um that tension that addiction that lust is gonna come right back as soon as you see them okay if you go like oh i'm i'm disconnected from them i don't want them i'm not attracted to them no more it's telling you that it's gonna come back it's gonna be they're gonna come back to tempt you and even though that you have put so much work into yourself and you are fighting this not gonna lie you are getting your shit on and you're like you know what no 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 no. i'm not going to let nothing stop me from achieving my greatness and once again things are not moving as fast but life is going to surprise you sorry guys i burped uh life is going to surprise you and things will change the way the direction that you thought things were going is going to change and again whatever you thought it was over and stopped and nowhere to be find found is moving again forward so so prices everywhere babes so prices everywhere so get ready babes before i go cancer i'm gonna give you a b be, uh a beautiful i was gonna say a message from the moon oracle real quick so for cancer please and thank you spirit thank you so much at the bottom we have full moon we got take time to relax recharge and replenish your inner strength we got cat make time to focus on your own spiritual well-being and connect to your metaphysical world around you wolf beware of letting your wilder instincts spin out of spin out of control and last one says new moon and it says time is ripe for seeking new opportunities so this is basically the final message before i go i want to remind you guys to please like and subscribe if you haven't and i'll be back every week once again for those who are interested in my personal reading please reach out to my instagram and just hit the book now button once again i'm completely full for the 23rd so if you decide to book an appointment with me please make sure to do it on the 30th you know for why not on the 23rd otherwise if somebody does that i will have to unfortunately cancel because i am completely booked so with that said Thank you guys so very much. I also have a membership. It's only $1.99 a month. If you want to join there, it gives you a special batch next to your name that batch always updates and once again you get five special emojis that you can use every time you comment on my lives and our videos and it's always highlighted as a priority and treated as such and of course helps my channel grow and helps me stay here more also if you see this on saturday hopefully i can i can actually upload it on saturday um i'm gonna have a live on sundays starting on the 26th it's gonna be at 8 p.m cst is only a five dollar donation for classes for spirituality classes and more um if you're interested just hop on and you're gonna know how much things how many things i'm having there for you guys and a little surprises as well so thank you guys so very much once again you guys have an amazing day and have many many blessings coming your way bye